in the last video we created a database now in this video we will create a table for this database so on the logging app here on the left side this is the database that we created on the last one on the last video so let's go ahead and create we we'll click here and create a table for it the table will be called users we're gonna have three fields there three columns actually and we're gonna click go these three columns here are gonna be named this one's gonna be named ID this one is going to be named username this one will be named password for the ID column we will set it to integer that we will leave it the same set it for 11 characters long this AI here is auto increment we need to set it to auto increment meaning that every time we create a row on this column it will auto increment the number right here this integer whatever integer that is it should be ID number one the first row and index primary all right because it is the primary index where we can look up things a lot faster now the username make sure that is data type var car meaning characters uh, variables characters meaning text all right so 32 characters password we make it a var car 32 now this whole this all these data types have its definition their definition in the website so you can go and visit PHP my admin or php.net will give you some information about these data types here if you want to find out more so now we are done here actually there is nothing else we got to do and just let's just click save all right so now that we have the table right here we can insert some data into it so we click on it as a matter of fact we click here insert then we have this one is ignored because it's already giving me an option to create more uh, data into that this table right now I'm just gonna leave it ignore just leave it checked don't worry about it and let's create some data into this all right so I'm not gonna put anything for ID because it does it automatically for me I'm just gonna put a username here all right and the username would be probably like my name and probably like Superman for password and I'm gonna click go right now we can go back and browse this we can check here and we can see that we indeed have some data into it we have the ID which we did not set it did it automatically with that auto increment and then we have the username right here which it was it was my name and the password Superman all right so now we can go back here we can delete all this data if we wanted to we can just click here delete this row right here all right we're not going to delete the table we are deleting the row remember this says number of rows right here so we are in the row side if you want to delete the table or the you need to go back to logging app and then you see the table right here check here select from here and drop it if you wanted to but I'm not going to do that since we need that table and we need that data in there to do other things All right. so now we created a table we created a database first of all we created a table and we created some data inside that table now we are ready to do the next phase, which is communicate with PHP. All right, so in the next lecture, we will discuss more about this. Thank you.